blank contract for a stripper internship. They seem to be desperately looking for new talent in every possible field. To the left, the water flows. Up the pipe, the cocktail goes. More than trees can get the axe to get back home. Hey, just relax. Here we go then. Oh, an underground river. No, a sewer. A rat swims the channel to the right, but where do I go? To the left where the dead alligator is floating. It smells like one of Lefty's socks down here. The one he rubbed with ham two weeks ago and has been carrying around in his pants ever since. There's a junction. On the left is an empty beer bottle. In front of me, a straw, and on the right, a video cassette with the inscription Live Aids. I had... Straight ahead past the straw. It's getting a little brighter. Oh, the amber room. Hmm, it doesn't matter. Faith would only be impressed by 90 timber points. I run into a troll. He looks at me angrily. On the floor, there's a 20-sided dice, an axe, and a half-full milk carton. I... Take the die and try to sneak past the troll. You have to roll for dexterity, Larry. A one! Uh, that's not good. You slip on a banana peel, step on a horn, and fall into a gong that just happens to be in the room. And then? The troll notices you. Now, he wants to eat you. What do you do? I run away! <laughs> Here we go, then. Oh, an underground river. No, a rat swims it. Where do I go? To the left. It smells like one of the one he rubbed two weeks ago and has been... There's a junk I had. Straight ahead, Pat. It's getting a little bright. Oh, hmm, it doesn't matter. I run into a troll. He looks at me angrily. On the... I take the axe and chop the troll in half. The axe splits the troll right down the middle. The dead troll still seems a little surprised. The axe disintegrates. Well then, I'll keep going. The next intersection, to the left, a periscope of a Japanese submarine sticks out of the ground. In front of me stands the monument to the unknown dirty joke. And to the right, a chaise lounge stands on a steep slope. I... make myself comfortable on the chaise lounge. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no, you didn't! What the hell kind of noise are you making now? Why are you back in the cell again? This town's crazier than hell. 
If that's where you want to be, then stay there. Was the poster really that valuable? Philistine! You have defaced Lady Gag! She's a goddess! Oh, did they finally determine that God is a woman? If your God has the perfect p -p -p poker face, rides disco sticks, loves herself some bad romances, and kneels at glory holes, then yes. Sounds like a goddess I could get behind. Amen, sister. It's an emergency. So, what's so important? I have to come save you. That's really very sweet. But with me, there's nothing left to say. Aren't you supposed to be at work or something? Oh, sugar, I'm a freelancer. I work when I want and with whom I want. What exactly do you do then? Smuggle cucumbers? Uh, that's just a hobby. No, sweetie comes. I'm in the love business. Oh. You work at the sex shop like that nasty old granny? Ha! <laughs> As if I'm much more professional. Ah, so you're a hooker. I'll take that as a compliment. But no, I make sure that people come together. Now I know. You're a madam. No! I marry couples, you cretin. Is your brain as dusty as your genitals? A drag queen can officially pronounce people husband and wife? And wife and wife and husband and husband. Freedom! Amazing you can do that nowadays. Countries that are so narrow-minded about marriages are real shitholes. Uh, I think I lost my watch during the cavity search. You scallywag. All you want to do is get yourself a second go. Uh, now that I think about it, I, I wasn't even wearing a watch. Typical. Another runaway bride. Wow. <laughs> Just look at the time. <laughs> I have to be going. <laughs> I don't really... Sorry, Tuck. You have desecrated the goddess. I just can't bear to see her like that. Take her away. I'm back. Were you gone? As a public defender, you probably deal with a lot of weirdos. Yesterday, I had to defend someone who had filled a sex doll with helium and then run after it when it flew away. Can you even imagine something like that? All too well. Ugh, at any rate, he wasn't worth my time. So, our date hasn't been annulled yet. Ugh. I'm back. Were you gone? This smartphone thing he says we need to meet. I said nothing of the sort. That timber thing. Heavens no. I only registered to see how the app works. I scrutinize everything from proof. Then you should just scrutinize me. You'll definitely need one in his pants. Thank you, but being a public defender once is enough. I'm back. Where you got? This I said that Tim Heavens no. I scrutinize everything. Prune, by the way. Uh, I know BJ and Faith. What? What do you mean you know them? I was up in the tower with them. The Prune Tower? Headquarters. How did you manage that? I found this smartphone. Do you still have access to the tower? Maybe. Well, if you could extract some information from their headquarters, then I could imagine going on a date with you. Non-binding. But of course! Here, copy everything you find onto this USB pen drive. 
What's that? A 128 gigabyte USB memory stick. Unknown serial bigamist? <laughs> You'll figure it out. Simply plug it into the appropriate port. Ah, my uh, specialty. Oh, come back when you've retrieved the data from Prune headquarters. That would have been too easy. I could reach it, but I don't have a stamp. on the contract. Looking for a stripper intern? Maybe this is one of those jobs where human resources just issues blank contracts. Well, it is a personal job. <laughs> it says, no prior knowledge required. Just contact us. What about those recruitment bonuses? Congratulations, Larry. You got the job. Uh, just a second, I'll register you directly with our personnel management app and upgrade your access card. There. Now, you have access to the office upstairs. Uh, the elevator will take you there. Welcome to the Prune family. Prune Pal has been activated. And what's that now? Uh, does that help me with my dates? The payment app for all Prune employees. You can use it to pay in more and more places. That's what they say. But, as a rule, just not where it would be convenient for you. I already loaded the app, and you can use it now. I guess you need an access card for that. some very sensitive equipment. Watashi no ha? Karafutu u anaki di apudesu. Pardon me? Oh, you speak our language. Oh, I speak all sorts of different languages and programming languages. But you are Japanese, aren't you? No, I'm American. <laughs> My mother comes from Korea. Ah, huh, well, you are a girl, aren't you? You know, without uh, <clears throat> special characteristics. I get it. You had a traumatic experience in a massage salon in Thailand, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> I just uh, wanted to be sure. <laughs> What's your name? Mi Yang Dong. Dong. Didn't you say you didn't have one? But um, Best to just call me Nari. That's what everyone calls me here. And it's the name I use on the net. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Larry Laffer? You're my newest match on Timber. You look way different than your profile picture. And as for your outfit...
I know you like what you see. I knew it. I knew it. You're a cosplayer. You dressed up as that sleazy guy from the 80s computer games. Are you a fan of his? <laughs> Mine? OMG! You portray him so perfectly. I finally meet up with someone as nerdy as I am. <laughs> Wanna ride my joystick? Oh, senpai. As much as I'd love to nerd out with you, I still have to finish work on the prototype today. You mean that new phone? Exactly! BJ needs the new Pi updated before the big show. We've been crunching for six months, but there's still some details to iron out. But once everything's ironed, you're free. Yes, as soon as one version of the device passes all its tests, it's finally quitting time. And by the way, what do you do here? Uh... An internship? Oh, great. Uh, then I have a quick assignment for you. My biggest problem is lack of sleep. Could you maybe get me some caffeine? Sure. Uh, we cosplayers have to stick together. I'd like a tall, hot, stiff vanilla latte. The coffee machine's over there. A vanilla latte? was easier than I expected. A tall, hot, stiff vanilla, please. Your cosplay is absolutely perfect. It's just the kind of line that Sleazeball would have used. Ah, <laughs> yeah, precisely. <laughs> All just play acting. I've never had an intern who brought me the right coffee right away. But don't you disappear as suddenly as the last one. You're doing a really good job, both as a cosplayer and as an intern. You might be able to give me a hand with some critical tasks. Uh, my hands are ready. Both the resilience and the psycho profile of the new assistant, the new Pi, still have to be improved for the presentation. But I can't leave this room. Wait, I'll upgrade your access card. The elevator will take you to the tech lab. I'll use the speakers to explain how to run the experiments from here. Test lab. Access card experiments. <laughs> On my way. And when the show is over, we can go out? Precisely. This red ball doesn't look like the other balls. Hey, you should focus on your work. She won't let me look. It only opens with an access card. say anything. That voice sounds familiar. Facial scan completed. Larry Lapper recognized. Hey, you're that thing I found in that slimy muck at Lefty's. And when all the madness started. Larry, you had a personal intelligence before me. There are two of you? She's the next step in AI evolution with many new secret functions. I, I get it. So you're related. What have you been up to since we last talked? After BJ got his hands on me again, I had to go through countless experiments. For that, you smell pretty good and don't even have any stains. Not that kind of experiment, you bio downgrade. Technical experiments. Every Python must be delivered in perfect condition. 
What exactly is the difference between you and my pie? I'm the improved version in every sense. If I had been programmed to feel pain, that might have hurt. But as it is... Don't worry, Pi. We belong together. I know you a little now, and I know how low your standards are. So, you've been further improved. Yes! I can't take it anymore. They put me through countless tests, and with every new test, the device is destroyed, and I'm transferred to a new model. You don't know how painful a reboot like that can be. Does an artificial intelligence also feel artificial pain? Imagine your brain is so developed that you are aware of every single aspect of your being. I can. I, I can imagine. Very easily. All your senses are developed to the fullest. Oh. And every day, you are hunted through hellfire. Your body sawn through, disintegrated, or exposed to deadly radiation. Sounds like a magic trick gone wrong. And just when you think they've finally pulled the plug, you find yourself in a completely new body and go through it over and over again. But your mind hasn't forgotten a thing. It'd be like waking up in Lefty's bar over and over again. You have to help me pass the test. But I have to follow Nari's instructions. She won't notice a thing. Trust me. Don't give up. I'll save you. Larry, don't dawdle. We don't have much time. Help me. Can't be open just like that. Don't leave. Help. Well, here we go. What? No, I'm not protected. Oh, don't be such a baby. That's the way I always go, too. No! Whoops. Don't you ever do that again. Cremation sucks. Hmm. I've got to protect her from the heat somehow. That doesn't protect against heat. do about the flamethrower find something cold to put me in so i don't get barbecued don't larry don't help that should really cool it down 
I don't think there's a pie in there. Well, here we go. Well, let's hope this works. Worked like a charm. And the cup survived, too. Don't... Larry, don't dawdle. We don't have much time. Help! Okay. Next try. No, don't. Apart isn't as bad still some kind of The bra should withstand the saw Now nothing can go wrong That's what you say People say that sexy armor doesn't provide any protection. Next test. No, no. The radiation is dangerous to my electronic brain. No! Ouch. about enough, Larry. You have to protect my brain from... I wonder if that will work. Hmm. I think this has a 50-50 chance of working. Just shut up and pull the lever. The aluminum hat is where it's at. Almost done. No, don't do it. I have a matte display. That laser will pulverize me. No! Okay, I have to admit. <laughs> I found that a bit funny. You goddamn... Maybe I can somehow deflect them. I was always good with physics. I've calculated the angle of reflection perfectly. Now the laser should be deflected and not cause any more damage. I hate you. Okay, not much more damage. And the mirror is almost intact, too. Yatta! It worked, Opa! Finally, the ordeal comes to an end. I, uh, always knew I could make two ladies happy at the same time. Now, there's just one thing left. Gulp? There's a script in the flip chart. It will recalibrate the AI's character. She means the script you just torched.
say, on a scale from one to ten, how bad would it be if that script had been burned? The script is to- oh, Come on, Larry. Stop making jokes. Uh, there was a kind of a accident with the laser. <laughs> <laughs> Save the games for quitting time, naughty boy. <laughs> Can you, uh, send me a copy? <laughs> I, I can't read the writing. Come on, your eyes aren't that bad yet. Ah, well, what's the worst that can happen from a fuel calibration? If an AI is not perfectly calibrated, it can develop a powerful will of its own, which, in turn, can cause the entire system to overheat. Oh. Okay, uh, well, even if it does explode, it can't do that much damage, seeing as it's so tiny. Well, you are an expert in tiny things. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow the instructions in the flip chart and set up the new assistant exactly as instructed. There's something else I need to take care of now. Just say, OK, Pi, software calibration to start the process. Uh, sure. So, Pi? Yes? Uh, not you. That other thing. Fine, then. Just see where it gets you. I have nothing to say to you. New Pi? Uh, I'm supposed to figure your software? Haven't you done enough to me? Do you enjoy torturing me? No! You've been grinning the whole time. I won't let you get into my system and... Okay, Pi. Software calibration. Software calibration mode active. Set empathy value. Sixty-nine. Set humor value. Sixty-nine. Set paranoia value. Zero. Software calibration completed. Oh, what have you done? How did you set me up? Don't worry, baby. I know which buttons to push with women. You... You goddamn... I have to be going now. I don't ever want to see you again. If your dirty fingers ever touch me again, then... Then... Ah! 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 It, it was me. Uh, of course. I don't ever want to see you... The software test is complete. So everything worked out? Of course. And you stuck exactly to the prescribed parameters? You bet I did. Good. We have some Pi versions that developed weird traits when we tweaked their characters. Um, we had to destroy them before worse happened. Oh. So now we can go on our date? Well, I have a rule that I only go out with serious nerds. You're obviously a great cosplayer and also a great guy, but you're not half as nerdy as I am. I'm the original super nerd. Oh yeah? What was the most famous game console of the 80s? <laughs> the Super Megaton. Mm, true enough. And how many colors did the Super Megaton have? 16. Correct. And the rarest game is... Treasure Loot Terry. Wow, you got them all right. Larry, you are an uber nerd. Finally, someone who appreciates my skills. I still need the ultimate proof that you have truly awesome nerd credibility. Bring me a Treasure Loot Terry module. Wow, oh, nothing could be easier. And once you've done that, we can totally nerd out. Uh, 
It only opens with an access card. Firm Pal payment completed. I don't have to pay for it? It'll be deducted from your imaginary intern salary. Firm Pal payment completed. Firm Pal payment completed. Mr. Swango, enjoy your training. Look at that poster of Lady Gog. Do you believe in gay icons like her? Uh, uh, what is there to believe? Of course she's real. Uh, check. Lance now believes in gay icon. What? All right, that's enough. Why are you showing me this stuff? Superficial people like you were the reason I didn't want people to know I was gay. But you even get on my nerves when I pretend to be straight. If you really need to hear it, I'm gay. And that's a good thing. Wait, I... Uh... I rejected Dick. I totally broke his heart, even though I want him too. You can make up for getting on my nerves like that. A little, anyway. Don't worry. I know a thing or two about matchmaking. What works for women can't be wrong for you. Maybe I should have asked someone else. <laughs> 